No, I lived in that house for 10 years. And anybody who knew me would tell you, when you walked to my front door, it was always open. For Rochelle Trotter and her family, this was more than just a home. It was a place where memories were made and family traditions were held. It was a safe haven for everybody. We laughed, we talked, we slept on the floor, we danced, we had barbecues. And the meals were shared with anyone who walked in the door. Every weekend, Rochelle's son would bring his friends over to spend the night. And I literally raised them, four boys, in that house with my son. And every weekend, if they didn't play football or baseball, they were at the house. But she recently sold that home because she couldn't afford the rising insurance premium. Her monthly mortgage went up $1,200. Like, I feel robbed because I worked so hard to get my home. For them to have the increase of the insurance, just take it away. It's a lot because I was a single mother by myself. And people said that I couldn't afford this house. But in spite of what they said, I fought through and I kept my house. And I kept it till I couldn't keep it no more. There's hundreds, uh, hopefully not more, but hundreds or thousands of people who are right now experiencing the exact same uh, situation she is. John Ford from the Louisiana Department of Insurance says Rochelle is one of many families letting go of the American dream. After Hurricane Ida, several insurers left the state or stopped writing new coverage and premiums skyrocketed. She's right. Uh, it's, a, it's a really difficult time right now. He says the new insurance commissioner, Tim Temple, will work with lawmakers to come up with some changes in the next legislative session, including strategies to lure more insurance companies to the state. And not only to attract more insurance companies, but also to encourage the companies that are already riding here to write more business. The more insurance companies we have riding here, uh, the more competition we'll have, the quicker we'll, we'll be able to stabilize rates in the market. Rochelle is now at a mixed income apartment in Treme, back where she was before her dream home. She's struggling to settle in because she misses having a place she can call her own. A sad reality for many families going through the same transition as the insurance nightmare continues. People need places to go. And the homelessness is getting worse. And it's really sad. People going to lose out here. But it's going to be a sad situation in the state of Louisiana. Well, this week, Insurance Commissioner Tim Temple announced his plan for some sweeping changes to the insurance market. So one proposal is to get rid of the three-year rule, which bans insurers from dropping customers if they've been with the insurer for three years. Another change he is pushing for would allow insurers to raise rates without prior approval, according to the economy, and they can do that more than once a year. So some people argue that these changes, these proposals, would hurt customers because they're losing Losing their rights and giving more flexibility to the insurance companies. But Ford says Commissioner Temple's goal is to make the state more attractive for insurance companies to come here and to do business in Louisiana so that customers can get competitive rates.